Hello, and welcome to the Medical History Update webinar. In this webinar, you will learn the correct way to update a medical history form, as well as a patient registration form, and any other form that you require the patient to fill out more than once. This will work for print, kiosk, and e-clipboard. There is not a current way to update forms online. If you wish a patient to update a form online, they will need to fill out the entire form again. To start, we're going to take a look at the patient's forms by going up to the patient form button here. And we see we have a medical history form that was filled out about six months ago. We can double click in and take a look and see the information that is currently there. If we want to go ahead and update this form, we need to make a copy of this form for the patient to fill out. To do so, we're going to make sure that we have the form highlighted and we click this pre-fill button. What the pre-fill button will do is it'll take all of the importable information from Open Dental and put it into the sheet. So that includes the patient's medical history problems, allergies, and medications. It will also take a copy of the information that is not importable. So for example, our medical doctor, our unusual reaction questions, former dentist, etc and copy those into the new sheet as well. So we'll have the most current version of the sheet that we can possibly have. So we have the form clicked, click pre-fill, and it presents us with an example of what we had previously. We see that the medications aspirin and penicillin are no longer editable, and any signature that we had is no longer there. This is the copy that we are going to have the patient update. If you're going to print, you simply just need to click this print button here and present the page to the patient. If you're going to use kiosk or e-clipboard, you can click this two kiosk button to queue it up for the kiosk or e-clipboard. It's very important in your sheet creation that you have certain fields available. For medications, you want to make sure that you have these boxes here. These are called check med boxes. These are going to be the no's for each typed yes response. So if you type in aspirin, that's saying yes, I take aspirin. You click the box, it says no, I no longer take aspirin. Same thing goes for allergies and medical problems. Click yes, it adds them. Click no, it removes them when you're importing. If you do not have a no selection for your problems or allergies, you will not have a way to remove them from the patient's chart. So for example, this patient has high blood pressure, but you know what? Six months later, they got that under control. So now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have that updated on our new fresh copy. So remember, we highlighted the original and we pre-filled. That made us this new copy with a new day and timestamp and now has the different information from what the historical original did. From here, you just simply go in and import the same as you normally would with any changes that you have made. If the patient has never had a form created or the last form was created prior to your Open Dental version 22.2, the patient will need to fill out a new version of the sheet. This can be done online, or it can be done through this page here. Simply go add, medical history, and okay. If you chose to click pre-fill on something that was generated from an older version of Open Dental. So let's say this sheet here was created when your Open Dental version was 22.1. Open Dental will make a pre-filled copy of that with only the information that it already has. Now this sheet was actually made in 22.2, so it copies over all of these fields here. But if the sheet was made in 22.1, the only things that would come across would be your medications, your allergies, and your problems. All of these miscellaneous fields would be blank. So if you are on anything below version 22.2 and you have a sheet that patients are filling out, they will need to fill out the entire sheet again once you move over to 22.2. You can view the link down below that'll go over the details of the changes in 22.2 with the pre-fill update. 
You can also go through the other link describing the process that I just went through with the medical history updates. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Thank you.